So halfway through this, it got mildly interesting. There was a twist that I didn't see coming, there were some creepy psychiatrist scenes, and I even started liking the characters better. Buried in here, there were deeper issues about repressed memories or internalization, and those moments are stuck in what is 80% a shitty Blumhouse movie. Its focus is primarily on cheap jump scare porn with stock creepy kid stuff that's unintentionally funny and a repetitive soundtrack that sounds like a Home Alone sound alike. Even in the climax, it's just a low-rent poltergeist or Hellraiser 2, only it wouldn't end. The best part was Betty Buckley as the exposition old person who knows everything, but she is having a good time here. This was a frustrating D+, because there was potential here if they, ironically, just believed in this more, instead of throwing someone a teddy bear and saying, make a horror movie out of this. 